Anyone who has taken time with the Seventh Day Adventist hymnal will notice that there are some songs that are a bit strange, like 474. Donna nobis pasem pasem, Father, Father, grant us your peace, and many more. In fact, it has been said that there are many Catholic teachings and Catholic songs in the SDA hymnal. In the document right before us, Vance Farrell gives us an ex example of these songs in this four-page document. In this other website, the same views are held as are said by Vance Farrell concerning some of these songs. But there are not only two people that hold these views. We have at least two videos that are quickly also searched for on YouTube. Catholic Doctrine in the SDA Hymnal, Roman Catholic Songs and Readings in our modern SDA Hymnal. So if there are many songs that have Catholic teachings in them and are not safe for us to sing, is Angels We Have Heard on High one of them? Is it also one with Catholic teachings? Vance Farrell, in his document, gives us examples of uh, these Catholic teachings. For example, in the song 402, has the following line, his broken body in our stead is right here in this memorial bread. And that teaches transubstantiation that Christ's literal body is in the bread. But let us spend no more than two minutes and check if angels we have heard on high is also a bad song for us. Mary Joseph lend your aid. We find this in the fourth stanza of hymn number 142. And Vance Parrell says, Hymn 142 verse 4 teaches that we should call on dead saints to help us today. So the controversy is right here at this point. If we go to stanza 4 of angels we have had on high, see him in a manger laid whom the choirs of angels praise. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid while our hearts in love we raise. This is the line that we are going to investigate. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid. In Van Farrell's view, teaches that we should call on dead saints to help us. And then he says, and uh, the most, and of course, the most important saint to intercede on our behalf is Mary. The same view is held by these people. They say, in this hymn, verse 4 uplifts the Catholic notion that the dead heavenly saints, that the dead are heavenly saints who can assist us. So Mary Joseph dead, heavenly saints who can assist us, lend, our, lend their aid while we raise our heart in love. This uh, documents that I've said led me a few years back while I was still investigating these songs to do the following in my hymnal. As you can see, Song 142, last stanza, I crossed out Mary Joseph Lend Your Aid and wrote there Catholic to often re remind me that this is not to be sung. So if we were singing, we read stanza three. But I have come to something that had I just taken time to soberly go through the song, I would not have arrived at that conclusion. So let's begin from stanza one. Angels we have heard on high, singing sweetly all the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. What is the setting of this poem or of this song? Angels we have heard. So it is people who heard the angels that are singing the song. So we go back in imagination to the time when the angels were singing 
and we hear them. When was that? When Christ was born? About 4 or 5 BC. Song is sung by people who heard the angels. The setting of the song is at that time. Gloria in excelsis Deo. That in English simply is glory to God in the highest. Now these men that had the angels go now to the shepherds and they are speaking to the shepherds. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why are you so joyful? What glad tidings do you have? And then these men walk towards Bethlehem and they are calling people and saying, come to Bethlehem and see Christ whose birth the angels sing. If the setting was at the present time, then clearly Christ is not in Bethlehem and we can't call people to Bethlehem at that time. But since we in imagination have heard the angels, we in imagination have spoken to the shepherds, then we in imagination also can call people to Bethlehem where Christ is. And what do we find at Bethlehem? We find him laid in a manger, whom the choirs of angels in stanza one are praising. We find Mary and Joseph, of course, beside their newborn baby. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid while our hearts in love we raise. Therefore, it is my view that although there are many Catholic songs and teachings in the new SDA hymnal, song number 142, Angels We Have Heard on High, is not one of them. If we just understand the setting to be at that time when Christ was born, then we will understand that we are not speaking to Mary who is dead and Joseph who is dead, but we in imagination are speaking to Mary and Joseph is alive. And finally, the song we are told was not there in, uh, in the early Adventist hymnal. The Catholic, that Catholic song we've seen is not Catholic, was not there in our earlier Adventist hymnals and songbooks. Good. Our pioneers didn't include them and those that came after them. But let us notice, this song, Angels We Have Heard on High, was written or composed in 1937 and arranged same time 1937. So the earliest hymnals had been written. So it was not left out by design by those that were before us, but it was not there. So it could not have been included. That is my view about this song. It is a good song to be sung, a joyful song, a song that will lift our spirit, a song that will help us to praise Christ and invite everyone else to praise him. That is all for now. Thank you.